Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM24 Youth Academy Challenge with CD Toledo. It's the start of the 2038 season. How's it been going? Let's go and have a look. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to the save, fellow managers. It's delightful, delightful. I mean, what a shit it... Hello fellow managers and welcome to the save. It's a delight to have you with me. And we are top of La Liga on our own. Seven games played, seven wins, and a goal difference of plus 12. Yes, it's been a fantastic start to the season. Absolutely unbelievable. And just when I started to write Miguel Moreno off, he's loving life. Nine goals in seven league games, an 8.01 average rating. He's doing incredible. Eight assists for Crimson Mori, 92% for Liam Hollick. He's got the most player of the matches, Miguel Moreno as well, with two joint with Tufe. It's just going really, really well, and it's incredible. We're also top of the Europa League league phase after one game. Played one, one one, four nine against zero. So, yeah, we are attacking this season pretty well. Uh, Constantino had a testimonial, and then we released him on a free transfer, so that was good. Um, but we beat Espanyol, 1-0. We beat Osasuna, 1-0. We beat Granada. 1-0. Beat Mallorca 3-1. Beat Alaves 5-2. Beat Real Madrid 4-3 with a 94th minute winner from uh, Aaron Wall from left back. He popped up and got us the winner in the 94th minute in a game where we got outplayed by Real Madrid. But we had the last laugh and we scored the winner through Aaron Wall as you can see here. It's all very quick but he came up from left back, fired it in the bottom corner. And that was the winning goal. Uh, seven shots to 14, four on targets to eight. They doubled our shots, doubled our shots on target. Yeah, we, we played really well. They had two clear-cut chances. They hit the woodwork. But ultimately, we got the win, which was unbelievable. A hat-trick for Miguel Moreno in that one as well. Superb. We beat Lesia Warsaw 9-0, or Lesia Poznan, I should say, 9-0 in the Europa League league phase. We've just beaten Levante 4-1 uh, as well in front of 20, nearly 26,000 fans at their stadium. We're going to be taking on Rapid Vienna, and if we have time, Sevilla in this episode as well. And then we do have big games coming up against Barcelona, Athletic Bilbao, Sociedad in there. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting season, but to get seven games in the league and a game in Europa League, not losing, is incredible. And we qualified for the Europa League because Spain got the coefficients and therefore seventh became the Europa League and eighth became the Conference League. So Levante got into Europe as well, which would be great for them. But that was last year. This year, we're top. And we have had a, I've always said it's if you get a good start to the season, anything can happen. And we have gone top, which is absolutely superb. In terms of transfers, nothing really happening too much. Uh, Atli Berge may be going out on loan. Uh, we've had a couple of loanees out as well for our younger new gens. Um, Avono has gone out on loan as well with his fantastic glasses. Um, he's gone out on loan for a bit more first team football to see what he can do and try and impress us while he's out but other than that not too much changes over the summer to the squad um it's pretty much fixed compared to what it was last year there's a few youngsters that have been called up a couple of 18 year olds disondo obama has been called up for a bit of first team football here and there we've got miguel martinez coming up for a bit of first team football here and there as well but generally the starting 11 is as we know it um, miguel moreno is wanted by barcelona interestingly enough and granada he did sign a new deal with us. Um, he now has a minimum fee release source of £90 million, which is totally fine. Uh, £49,500 a week, which is a bit more to, you know, as you would expect, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure we put a three year extension in there, but I'm assuming we can't trigger it because he's only just signed the contract. Not too sure, but I'm pretty sure there is uh, that in there as well. Christian Parginos is uh, in the first team as well. Maybe getting a bit of first team this year, but. Not too much to talk about there. Jan Petrick, Mocha, all in here as we know. Um, and yeah, we've got lots of unregistered and ineligible players because I've got the B team and under 19 selected in here as well. But all in all, going very well. Um, very happy. Let's go and play Rapid Vienna and see if we can pick up another win in the Europa League to keep this unbeaten start to the season going. It's just absolutely ridiculous how well it started uh round river has been playing up front a little bit 
mainly because uh, Tufe is injured. Let's get rid of all of these players that we know aren't here. Uh, Tufe, I think, picked up a bit of an injury. Oh, no, he's starting on the right today. Um, I'm pretty sure you... Well, you've been playing up front, Tufe. Um, I can't remember, since the last time I played it, why you're not up front and revert is at the moment. Something's happened. Oh, Nicholas Myberg is coming back from injury. That's why he's not fully fit. But uh, Alonso, Alonso is... Uh, suspended for this one, and Obama is on international duty. So let's go with let's go with Jake Mills on the bench. We're not going to risk Nicholas Myberg. No need to in the Europa League, really. Uh, youngster Francisco is a goalkeeper that came through um, a couple of seasons ago in the youth academy. He's now on the bench. Uh, Alberto Suarez has probably sort of reached his peak at 22. I know goalkeepers can peak a bit later, but we are going to go full strength. I know we've got Sevilla coming up, but I think what we're going to do is keep the team that is winning us games. Um, obviously, Nicholas Myberg drops out and Tufe starts at right wing, which means Re Roman Revert comes in up front. But generally, this is a good team. It's a game we should be winning, which then means we can make subs early and uh, look to manage fitness and manage performance and things like that. But there we go. There is music as well. It's the Europa League. So we have the amazing theme. Whoa, 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 whoa. That one. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I've just done that completely the wrong time because my volume is not high enough for me to actually hear it uh, in full. But it's still going on in the background. There's our, there's our fans it chucked into the corner. Uh, Rapid Vienna coming out in their green and white stripes. We're in our lovely black kit sponsored by Zara. Um, still going these kits. I just really like these kits we designed a few years back uh, and they're still here But the game is ready to get underway So uh, let me just make it so that it is actually watchable on camera. We'll get replays back on We'll have just the goals and let's go disallowed offside goals as Well that should make it note that's still gonna be far too quick for commentating on a game that's going on YouTube um, But Rapid Vienna start with the ball and it's an early interception for Liam Hollick, which makes it very easy. Andres into Akinde. Akinde comes forward out to Moreno. Into Crimson Mori. Those two linking up well all season so far. Crimson Mori keeps the ball. That was straight from kickoff this. Xavi on the edge is tackled. Dave Supreme will pick up the loose ball. He's tackled as well. It looks like Rapaviano may be chucking themselves into tackles. But Dave Supreme's in. There's the square ball. Crimson Mori couldn't quite turn. He goes out to Akinde. And that's not a good ball at all from Akinde. And our Rapid Vienna going to get... A lead here, which should go distinctly against how this game has started. Ball in, it's bouncing around, and it's a wonderful save from Joe Page with his foot. What a save that is. It probably should be 1-0 Rapid Vienna. But we stay alive five minutes into this one. And, uh, yes, not, not ideal, that. Not ideal at all. But we have a corner. Two-face swings in. Header at the near post from Neeson. Goes past the post. Uh, and we can't make too much of that. But you can see we are in the black on the XG board. And that's just put us in the lead for XG. But the 4-4-2 they're lining up in should be quite easy to get through in this system we play. Moreno, great ball. Revert scores. Ramon Revert. It's going to be checked for VAR, but I'm pretty sure that's onside. It looked onside. And the referee is checking with his finger in his ear. And it's given. We score away at Rapid Vienna. It looked like a lovely through ball, to be honest. As Daubner brought it down. Well, Akinde won the header, sorry. Crimson Mori into Moreno. He put a lovely ball through. And that's the pace and off the ball movement of Ramon Revert, which is really, really good. Which is why he got promoted to the senior team when we decided that Constantino was no more. We did not need Constantino. We wanted to bring other people through. And one of those players was Ramon Revert, and he is taking his opportunities in really well. Crimson Mori shoots. It's blocked and cleared away. Liam Hollick brings it down the left-hand side into Andreas. Andreas is in. Is that a penalty? I think it is. The referee's given it. He's had a quick check with VAR, and it has been given. And it should be Crimson Mori or Moreno. Uh, one of the two. Who is going to... Oh, it might be Ramon Revert, actually, now that he's on the pitch. No, it is Moreno. It is Miguel Moreno. And he scores. Sends the keeper the wrong way. 2-0 Toledo. His 10th goal of the season already. And we are dominating this game against Rapid Vienna. The penalty looks a little bit soft, to be honest. But number 31, Miguel Moreno, fires it into the uh, side netting and makes that 2-0. And we are keeping this roll going. It's been a fantastic start to the season. 
for the team from Spain. And potentially we've got a chance to win the Europa League. It's always that, you know, question of who drops down from the Champions League and are we going to have enough to get through that as well and beat them. But you've got to think, we've reached quarterfinals of the Champions League, so we should be one of the favourites for the Europa League, I guess. But uh, we'll have to see how it's going. But we are 2-0 up at halftime. A fantastic first half performance. Akinde on a yellow card. We'll keep an eye on that. We don't want any silly suspensions or uh, anything like that to worry about. But yeah, we're we're massively on top of this game. And I don't think Rapid Vienna got... I mean, their goalkeeper's kicking is awful. It doesn't even reach the halfway line, which is terrible for a professional goalkeeper. As uh, Isic looks for Urbine on the left-hand side. Urbine swings in it. So good cross, Joe Page. Never in doubt. Great goalkeeping from Joe. Strong hands. Solid communication in the box to tell everyone it was coming. And uh, he plucks it out of the sky. Andres comes forward with it. He's tackled, but we'll get on the loose ball first. Into Akinde. Akinde through the midfield into Ramon Revert. Back to Andres. And you can see how we launch people forward. And Akinde is one of them that's into the box. Squares it in Crimson Moore. He gets his fifth goal of the season. A lovely header, but Miguel Moreno is injured. That is not what we need in the Europa League. We do not need our star left winger picking up an injury. Okay, it doesn't seem to have affected him uh, too much, but uh, Akinde got the assist. I think we're going to take him off and just give Akinde. We're actually going to rest both of these. They're so crucial to our, to our form. I think we'll rest both of those. And I do sort of want to rest Miguel Moreno as well. So we'll give Mocker a run out. See how we can, as I said, we don't want any stupid suspensions or injuries to key players. And uh, at the moment, we're playing well. Pascal goes close with that one. And I think probably with about 15 minutes to go, we'll change the system to be a lot less aggressive. Uh, try and keep the ball, make, make it so that our players don't have to sprint forward on every counter-attack, which is what we want them to do now. Miguel into Andres from left back in for the suspended or injured Aaron Wall in this game. Cross goes into the back post. Tufe heads it down and Kazushi gets on the score sheet as well. 4-0 as Kazushi picks up a goal before the hour mark. This is a job done and dusted. And I think now what we're going to try and do is just see out this game. Uh, we'll stay positive, but we're going to try and keep the ball. Don't run at them. Work the ball into the box. Don't pass into space. Uh, we're going to play out of defense and just keep the ball as best we can. We'll hold our shape. Don't need to worry about doing any of this. Roll it to the centre-backs. Slow the pace down. Uh, and out of possession, we can uh, potentially drop back. But I think we'll actually we'll keep our lines the same. We're just not going to give up the space all that often. And that should see out this game pretty easily, to be honest. With a 4-0 lead, even if we concede one, I'm not going to be too worried. Um, in terms of resting players, look at that. Ten minutes gone already. And we're just seeing out the game Lovely stuff. Crimson Mori looking tired. Um, we'll probably bring him off as well. Let's get Jake Mills on for a game. And we've got one sub left. Kike Andres is knackered, but as I said, Aaron Wall should be stepping back into the left back. Xavi could come off. I think the centre-backs are looking fit and healthy. So maybe we give... Let's give Miguel Martinez a run. Actually, no, not Miguel Martinez. Let's give Pedro Morea a run up front, who is the very, very, very high potential youngster, or by the star ratings anyway. But he does look like he's going to be very, very good for us in the future, Pedro Morea. So we'll give him a little bit of football in the Europa League. 4-0 up with five minutes to go. We have completely shut this game down, uh, which is absolutely lovely. If we look at... Is there... I'm still learning this. Uh, these boards but this is what I like to do to try and close games out if we can obviously the Real Madrid game was absolutely bonkers so we were never in a position to really shut that one down but Tufe into Jake Mills Jake Mills holds it up he's gone down the left hand side he's got men square he uses Kazushi who's on the edge can he get his second it's a good save from Seawald in goal but yeah 4-0 up this game is pretty much done and dusted AC Milan drawing 2-2 with Trabs on Spore Tufe swings it in Xander heads it away and I think that will be that. That is all she wrote in the Europa League. 4-0. A very solid win in Kike Andreas picking up player of the match as well. Good performance and a win. That will do for me. Should keep us top. It does. Played to 13 plus goal difference. Absolutely incredible scenes for Toledo this season. 
It's just very, very good. Morea makes his professional debut. We do want to use the Europa League to to push through a few more of our youngsters. But yeah, he looks so good. At the age of 17, he does look like he is going to be absolutely class. Just need to get those physicals up. Hopefully a bit more acceleration, a bit more pace would be very helpful. But uh, they can grow naturally. But yellow arrows coming is lovely. Um, and he's already got a professional contract as well. So let's go and give everyone a bit of rest. And then I think we will come back. Yeah, let's play Severe as well. Why not? Okay, so three days later, taking on Sevilla at home. They haven't had the most auspicious start to the season, but we know this system causes us some issues. But generally, we start like this, and it allows us to counter this system. But what I want to do is completely void that, if I can, which I can't. So let's go back to how we were playing, which was inside forward on support and an inside forward on support if this is version number oh this is version number two this is version number two so it's inside forward on attack and inside forward on attack up there um what we might do is change it in game to go to three narrow system playing against that but uh, i'm very delighted to say that aaron wall is back even though he's not fully fit he'll be playing this one wanted by real valladolid miguel moreno didn't pick up an injury so he can continue playing in this game. Nicholas Myberg is back though, so we are going to go to the tried and tested. Tufay through the middle, Myberg on the right, Maury in behind, and Moreno on the left. We just need to make sure that Ramon Revert is on the bench, and I think we can drop Pedro Morea for this one um, out of the bench. I don't think that's too much of a problem. Alberto Nunes, Kike Andreas misses out. Uh, we've got three injuries. Ho Pozzo is a big loss. Alphacoff's a, a loss as well. Phil Lewis, a big loss as that backup left back. Uh, Nunes on the bench is developing. Um, he does look like he could grow into something quite useful. Already 23 years old, so we'll have to keep an eye on him to see how he does. But uh, yeah, the bench is full. The players are ready. Everybody's fit. Aaron Wall's a little bit tired. But uh, we'll have to bring on potentially someone like Pascal Labonet on and move Liam Hollick to left back. But uh, yeah, Sevilla are going to be tough cookies. They always are. They've got a system I don't like playing against. But uh, I think we should be okay as we get into the game then um i said that last time so let's not say that again let's go i want to make home advantage count and i want to win let's go pump on the fist because we've got a, a poor record against Sevilla, especially live on camera but here we go we know it's a 4-2-3-1 for us which could change to a narrow system Sevilla lining up in there we'll call it a defensive shape and i do think straight off the bat we are going to go into this and then we go Shadow Striker running in behind. Shadow Striker running in, into the, into, I say in behind, into the channels is what I meant. And then you drop into the space to try and pick the ball up and let these three run at their three centre-backs, which is what we want to do. It has worked for us previously. It's just we've got to worry about these three playing up front. Aguirre crosses in. It's headed away by Wall. Not brilliantly. Raul's there into Thomas Adejo. Out wide to... Aguirre again. Ball in. It's headed. It's a goal. I just hate playing Sevilla. Why have I done this game live on camera? I hate playing against Sevilla. This system they use, it just infuriates the hell out of me. I think we're going to have to squeeze them in. I think that's what we did last time, right? I think we squeezed them in and stopped their fullbacks and their wingbacks getting up. But uh, he's not going to miss a header from there. So let's go instructions. Very high line. Get stuck in. Step up more. Don't let them get the ball out from these back five that they've, or the back, however many they've got, three, seven, the back seven. Don't let them get their back seven out, um, and we can we can look to do whatever we like. Don't, don't work the ball into the box as well, not too fussed about that. We need to get out there and basically cut off the supply line. So, again, let's also go uh, tactics, opposition, so their wing backs... Do you know what I want to do? I want to tightly mark their wing backs. For anyone that plays in this position, tightly mark the wing back. Don't that's gonna be their out ball is the wing backs, right? Uh good to this guy here, Guru to Daniel. Um he is their advanced playmaker. So we're not gonna tightly mark him, but we are just gonna absolutely batter him when he gets on the ball. Striker, I'm not worried about Kamona, I don't think is too much of a threat. Um I that's going to be a wide centre-back on attack, Martin. So he can push up and we can get in here. Arejo and Ray, I don't know how they're lined up at the moment. We've got one ball player. Okay, 
So we can actually, let's go into opposition again. And it was Arejo as the ball player. So we're going to tightly mark him. And then whenever Ray gets on the ball, trigger him, tackle him hard, and get him on his weaker foot. So they basically, we're trying to stop them putting the play through their ball playing defender. So that's what we want to do. Let's encourage. I really, really, really do hate this system that they're playing. Because they can just sit back now and just let the game let the game come to them knowing they've got seven people back, which is just horrendous. Like, so negative. It's such a negative system. It really is. Right. Throw in right on the stroke of half time. If we can nick this ball back, that would be lovely. Ray into Thomas Alejo. Up to Raul. Ball through. Oh, Carmona's has used his pace. He's got through. And he shoots off the underside of the bar. Oh, I hate playing Sevilla. I just hate playing Sevilla. They're so irritating. They're playing a massively high line. They're stopping. They just stop us creating anything. So, use your tactical brain, Dave. What can we do if they've got that many people in defense? What can we do? What can we do to counter it? What can we do? We can play much wider, much more direct. Pass into the space. Don't don't need to run at them. Bring our tempo down slightly, but I do want us to put it into that space in behind. If they're pushing people forward, we want our four against their three, basically. So then in transition, I think we might go back. What have they got? They're keeping... You can see I'm shutting my eyes trying to think about the tactics. They've got... They're keeping... Se what did we say? Seven back? So we can afford, I think we can afford to do this. Inside forward on attack. Inside forward on attack. Segundo Volante on support. But you'll also then have, uh, take more risk and move into channels is already there. That's good. And get further forward. Um, I think we can then leave Crimson Mori up high again. So that's going to give us technically one, two, three, four, five people moving up to take on their three centre backs and wing backs. And then you guys overlap. Now, we could potentially look for an overlap as well to allow us to completely overload them. Not sure. We could hit early crosses as well to try and avoid their wing backs. Let's start with that. And we'll see how that goes. Aaron Wall is absolutely shattered at left back already. Start the second half. A few little tactics. I mean, we've been on top of the game. With they're just stopping us creating anything, which is really, really irritating. And you can see it's these four here in front of three centre backs, all having a good game, all playing well. It's two, we're two 0 down, so we might as well go attacking as well. There's an hour gone already, gone, and they just stifle our attacks. It's so irritating. Uh, Crimson Mori off. He is carrying an injury. Let's bring on Ram on revert. And we're going to go two up top. Uh, revert is going to go advance forward. Tufe is going to go deep lying on attack. And then we're going to go... Do you know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. Segundo Volante on attack. I don't know which one of you two do that better. Uh, technically Akinde does. So we'll go that way around for now. Aaron Wall needs to come off. We'll bring on Miguel because he can play there. Uh, Xavi, yeah, look, they're just shutting down our shutting down our wing backs, which is very annoying. Uh, we'll go Labordet out at right back. So that's three subs. Miguel Moreno not getting in the game, but now we've shifted him back out to his favoured position. He may play a bit better. Um, oh, I guess we just go with that. And then give him a bollock in, maybe. Demand more. A 4-2-4. Four, 4-2-4. Four. Four, four. Again, we're just not creating anything. If we look at this, nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I can think of that may help us out. We're 2-0 down, so we might as well try something different, right? We've got Miguel who's come on. He's actually a midfielder. So you guys are actually a back three that want to play as a back three. So three ball playing defenders. We've got 
Miguel, who does prefer to be defensive. I'm thinking, can we do like a 3-4-3? Three, three? So, Supreme Dave is knackered. So, let's try it. We're going to go revert Moreno and Tufe all in a system like this, right? Deep line forward on attack. Advance forward over there. Advance forward. Great. We might even change you to a poacher. And then we're going to go Nicholas Myberg down here as a winger, an inverted winger on attack. And then we're going to bring Miguel back here. And we're just going to change you to be a defensive midfielder on support. Defensive midfielder on support. Inverted winger. Dave Supreme, inverted winger as well. So we're just going to flood the middle of the pitch. We're just going to flood the middle of the pitch up here, get the ball forwards. Because I think that's going to overload their centre-backs, right? That's what we're trying to do, is overload their centre-backs. So for this to work, Dave Supreme needs to come off for a left winger. They're saying Kazushi, which is not the right idea. Uh, Mocker can play out there as an inverted winger. I know that. That's four subs. We could do Miguel Moreno, who's not having a good game for fresh legs up front. I think we will. Let's get uh, Jan Petrick on up front for Miguel Moreno. We'll chuck in a youngster. 2-0 down. Let's try and overload. Let's try and overload their centre-backs for a little bit. Let's berate them. We have a throw-in. Nicholas Myberg into a kindy. Nicholas Myberg, terrible touch. Easy for Carmona to get that one. Again, now they can. They will be able to counter us through the middle of the pitch because obviously we're lacking numbers. Rueda. We need to win this ball back. Ray. Over the top. Liam Hollick should get there. Does. Just sort of hooks it back into a dangerous position. Gurutaxa into Raul, into Gurutaxa again, and that is 3-0, and, well, it could be offside, I don't think it is, but uh, it looked onside, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a system that's going to leave us wildly open with how many people we're sending forward, but, um, yeah, there you go, it's game over, Sevilla, have, the, the system hasn't worked, they've got all the match momentum, we, it hasn't helped us create anything, it... Yeah, it was a thrown together last minute hurrah, really, to try and get something to work. But a 3 0 loss at home to Severe is how our really, really good run comes to an end. I bloody hate playing against Severe. I hate Severe. That is the title of this episode. I hate Severe. But we do still stay top. I mean, Barcelona can go top if they win, they'd go to 22 points. Um, so we'll see. So Miguel Moreno picked up a bruised ankle in that one. Crimson Moore had a tight calf. Jan Petrick makes his debut. Our run comes to an abrupt end at seven games. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'd, not going narrow generally helps, but it didn't in that game. They We went narrow and they scored straight away. So yeah, that was irritating. That was irritating. Maybe that was tinkering for the sake of tinkering. Who knows? This episode is probably far too long. Anyway, next up we've got Barcelona after the international break. But we will be skipping head quite a way um, and coming back, I don't know, maybe at the end of the season? We'll see how the season's going and I'll decide when to come back. But thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and give me some advice of how to beat that crappy 7-3 formation. It's awful. I hate it. See you soon. Cheers.